What a long day, I wonder what kind of news I will find today. Huh? What is this? Do you know, bacteria produce your shampoo? Is this real? I never thought about it before. I wonder how those bacteria, produce the shampoo that we use every day. Let me imagine the process. Oh no, poor that boy. How will he wash the bird poop away? If we see through the bird poop, it consists of several components, such as protein, carbohydrates, and lipids. Can it be washed, using shampoo? Let's take a look. Inside the shampoo, there are a few enzymes, that can break down the dirt on our hair, such as protease, carbohydrates and lipase. But how were these enzymes, obtained? These enzymes, are obtained from bacteria. What, is, bacteria? Bacteria, are single-celled, or simple, organisms. They call these bacteria, that are microscopic organisms, not visible, with the naked eye. They have the capabilities, of reproducing, and producing, enzymes. Better said, bacteria, are the factories, that produce, enzymes. For example, bacteria, in the genus Bacillus, are the source of several enzymes, such as carbohydrates, protease, and lipase. So, how are, enzymes, produced, by bacteria? In bioprocess technology, fermentation method, is used to produce, enzymes from bacteria. The method of fermentation, is submerged, fermentation. Submerged fermentation, is a process, involving the development of microorganisms, such as bacteria, in a bioreactor, containing liquid medium. Liquid medium, is a liquid food, for bacteria. It contains a variety of nutrients, which is used, to grow cultures, of bacteria. A typical liquid nutrient, is composed of a complement of amino acids, vitamins, inorganic salts, glucose, and serum, as a source of growth factor. The process, is started with inoculating, a viable cell bacteria, into a flask, containing liquid medium. This is called an inoculum. The inoculum, is allowed to grow, by placing the flask, of inoculum, on a rotary shaker, in an incubator. The bacteria, grow at a rapid rate, due to aeration. Bacterial cells, from the shaker flask, can be used as seed culture. Which are then added to a small fermenter, and allowed to grow for about one to two days. The inoculum, is transferred, to the main fermentation vessel. Where temperature, pH, and dissolved oxygen, can be controlled, to improve enzyme production. The enzymes, are then recovered, by two methods, such as centrifugation, for extracellularly produced enzymes, and lysing of cells, for intracellular enzymes. Centrifugation, is the process, where a mixture of enzyme, and liquid medium, are separated, through spinning. Meanwhile, cell lysis, refers to the breakdown of a cell, caused by damage, to its plasma membrane. So, what is enzyme? Enzyme, is a biological catalyst, that speeds up, the chemical reaction, by lowering the activation energy. By using enzyme, in the reaction, it will save the time, and reduces cost. Now, let's see, how the enzymes, actually work. For the first step, the enzymes, and its substrates, must complement each other, because enzymes, have an active site, and it is very specific, and only works with certain substrates. 
active site is the part of the enzyme which allows the enzyme and substrate to bind and where the reaction is catalyzed. Next, when the enzyme binds with its substrate, it forms an enzyme substrate complex. This complex lowers the activation energy of the reaction. Then, a process called catalysis happens. Catalysis is when the substrate is changed. It could be broken down or combined with another molecule to make something new. When done, you will have the enzyme products complex. Lastly, the enzyme will release the products that formed. After the enzyme releases the products, it returns to its original shape. It is then ready to work on another molecule of substrate. After knowing the enzyme action, now, let's take a look, at how the enzymes inside the shampoo work, toward the bird poop on the boy's hair. When the boy, shampoo his hair. Carbohydrase, protease and lipase enzymes inside the shampoo, begin to work to break down, the bird poop components to be washed away. Carbohydrase enzymes break down carbohydrates into sugars. Protease enzymes break down proteins into amino acids. Lipase enzymes break down lipids into glycerol and fatty acids. With the help of enzymes, components of the bird flu are disassociated easily. After that, all the enzymes and the products are washed away by water. Do you ever wonder what happens to these enzymes after being washed away? Are these enzymes harmful to the environment? The answer is no. Enzymes give no threat to the environment and other living organisms. This is because enzymes are biodegradable, which means microbes in the environment can break them apart easily. To sum up everything, bacteria have the capabilities to produce enzymes depending on the conditions. Different types of enzymes break down different types of substrates. Thus, throughout this video, we can see how bacteria produce the enzymes to be used in our shampoo and how these enzymes work. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe.